Welcome back to Craftardia and Spectacle Island in Fallout 4. If you remember I attempted to create a prison here and my save file got wrecked, so I lost what I built. But it's fine, we shall build it again and this time it will be much better. It is going to be much better because I managed to get all of my mods to work, including the cheat engine hack to place items in red. This allows me to do whatever the fuck I want pretty much always and everywhere. This also means that I will not be frustrated anymore, so I'm sorry if you enjoyed in my misery, it shall be no more. Since this mod greatly changed the way I build my settlements, it also changes the way I present them, so from now on I will first give you a tour of the completed settlement. Once the tour is completed, I will talk about certain parts of the design and possibly give you some tips to help you build your own settlements. I believe this will get you to love me even more than you already do, but please don't sacrifice your family members in my name, I only accept baby dragons as sacrifice. Not only that, but I will also give you the save file so you can build the interior design yourself. You can then send me the save file with the completed settlement and I'll make a video showcasing your design. I think this will create a beautiful dynamic in our relationship where all of us will be able to participate in the content of the channel, which should be the point of the whole thing, right? To create a community of masturbators. So let's start the tour from the little pier. The pier design is very similar to before, but it is better this time because I was able to fence off the entire area. After going up the stairs on the right, you can see a nice and flat platform connecting both buildings. I extended the platform behind the warehouse and it is very seamlessly connected. Praise the mods! The house has also been somewhat restored, the walls, floors, roof and doors have all been placed inside and as you can see it is kinda livable. For creation standards this is an amazing house, but I assume that most people will consider this to be a terrible dump of a house. After going behind the house, the platform is much cleaner than before and it is connected directly directly to the house porch. Everything is much nicely connected compared to before and I love it. After going towards the middle of the island, this Brotherhood of Steel platform leads towards the prison area. Once inside, you can notice that the left side is a wasteland. I don't really have a plan for that area, maybe you can think of something. The right side has a walkway next to the wall. I wanted to make this like some sort of a patrolling path, but this entire prison area is supposed to be for the general population and it should look shitty and terribly maintained, and I think I managed to do that. After going all across the path, on the right is the entrance to the next area, but to the left there is an elevated walkway that overlooks the prison area. Moving towards the prison entrance, you can see a security gate as the door. The inside area is quite large and it has the institute stairs on the right and the door to the yard on the left. When you go up the institute stairs, you can see a much nicer and cleaner room reserved for murderers who have institute connections. The actual roof is an institute floor because the institute items don't have dedicated roof items, so I had to improvise. I love the shine on the roof from the sun, it reminds me of those commercials where they shine baby's asses to prove how their product is effective. But the next area, after passing through the door, there is a wide white path Path with timed electrified bulletproof fiberglass. This wall has a touch sensitive electricity timer. If someone touches the wall for longer than 1.7 seconds, a jolt of electricity rushes through their balls. I know this doesn't exist in the game, but it exists in my mind, and that is enough. This path leads up the stairs towards a corridor with more high-tech walls. On the right you can see the workshop area with a friendly mirror lurk jerking off for some reason. The next door leads to the supermax torch... Uh, Something got fucked so I went out of fly mode and quickly ran through the prison in hopes that everything would be alright. As you can see running through the prison is perfectly acceptable and there are no problems using any of the platforms or doors. And now everything worked properly. This is the supermax torture chamber of institutanity. The entire area has very high and impenetrable walls with a very clean patrolling path that is fenced off with these glass railings. The prisoner area is walled off with the same electrified fiberglass and another large door. It has no roof because sometimes the super high risk insane murderers will get dropped down from the vertibird. This is the Spectacle Island Prison 2.0 in which I used a shit ton of mods to make everything perfect and nice. I did not add watchtowers and items and I assume that it can be expanded even further, but I will give you my save file and then you can expand it yourself. Checking out your designs and featuring them will be much more enjoyable for me because I don't actually like doing the interior design, it makes me feel annoyed, so hopefully we can work together to create the most glorious settlements the internet has ever seen. Just make sure to use the mods that I will list out before loading the save otherwise you won't be able to add the items properly. There is one really useful thing that I learned from creating this settlement. When you're creating these big ass floors or walls, depending on what you want to use them for, what you want to do is normally snap a few of them in a row, and then by holding the A button you select all of them and simply move the entire block wherever you want it to be. 
When using the place in red hack, you can pretty much create perfectly straight walls, floors and basically anything else. You might have noticed the poles supporting the elevated walkway in the main prison area. I created this by simply adding these poles and using mods to place them one under another. This can help you create platforms in the sky that won't float, and instead it will appear as though they have supports. Even with mods it requires some fuckery to align them properly because they don't snap, so you're gonna need to jerk it around a bit in order to make a nice long pole. I hope you like the new video format and design of the new Spectacle Island prison, and I hope I will receive a lot of submissions with your interior designs of this settlement. That would be cool because then I can focus on building the exterior of all settlements and I can leave it to you to build the interior, which will allow me to make more videos faster and that is what we all want, don't we? Thanks for watching and let me know, do you like baby commercials? I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.